desert off-road racing, a sport that has tested the toughness of drivers and their race machines for several decades. It's also tested the toughness of off-road spectators. After all, if you want to see desert off-road racing, you have to go to the desert. And because of the way these events are staged, after you see a competitor rush past, it could be quite a while before the next one comes by. And since many desert races last a few days, it's one of the only motorsports that challenges the endurance of the spectators as much as the drivers. However, if you can't go to the desert, the desert can come to you. This is stadium off-road racing, the most rough and tumble, hairy chested contact sport that's ever been played from behind a steering wheel. The late race car designer, driver, and entrepreneur, Mickey Thompson from California, came up with the idea about 20 years ago. But it wasn't until fairly recently that this kind of legalized vehicular assault became big time sport. Born in California, stadium off-road events are held all over the country now. And just about any stadium that normally hosts football or baseball can be converted to a madcap maze where automotive anarchy abounds. We recently visited Anaheim Stadium in Southern California for one of the many stadium off-road events that are held there. Outside the stadium, before the racing begins, there's a good-sized midway with commercial displays and a paddock where everyone gets to see the race machines getting prepped. Off-road events attract several styles of race vehicles, including Baja buggies, super lights, ultra stocks, like this one about to get its clothes put on. And the ever popular pickup trucks, plus those athletic little four-wheeled ATVs. Danny Thompson, son of Mickey, remembers the birth of stadium off-road racing. Uh, my dad, Mickey Thompson, in 1979 came up with the original concept and he went into the LA Coliseum and talked to the commissioner of sports there and told him he wanted to bring 25 million pounds of dirt into the floor of the LA Coliseum where they had the Olympics and the guy kind of laughed at him and said, yeah, sure thing, mister. But anyway, my dad convinced him to do it and not only did it, he put 50,000 people in there that first year and that was kind of the inception of it. Attendance figures for stadium off-road events continue to climb. Why are more and more people getting into this kind of racing? Frank Arciero Jr. from Laguna Hills, California, one of the top guns in the sport, thinks he knows what's filling those seats. I think the fans love the, uh, the banging, the crashing, and the rollovers, you know, there's a lot of that. You know, you get the trucks, you get these big trucks in a, in a confined area down on the stadium floor, and uh, boy, anything's going to happen, and you hear a big roar in the, in the stand, and you know these people are going wild. Just before the night's racing activities begin, the drivers roll their machines into the empty arena, then the spectators file in and are invited to come down onto the track and get autographs from their favorite drivers. If there was ever a sport that kept the paying public in mind, this is it. After mixing and mingling with the fans, it's time to get down to the meat and potatoes. And the main event at any stadium race has to be the race trucks, driven by such notorious hard cases as Roger Mears, Walker Evans, Rod Millen, and Ivan Ironman Stewart. Stadium race trucks are tough little customers, and watching a battalion of them abuse each other in a 10-lap sprint race is a blast. They dart, faint, bob and weave, and sometimes even flip, which in this sport is usually just a minor inconvenience. We'll just get this little spud back on its rubber and pick up where we left off. The tubular steel chassis of these race trucks are stuffed with race prepped engines and are cloaked in lightweight fiberglass body panels that just sort of peel off in the event of heavy contact. It's kind of like motor racing's version of professional football's tearaway jerseys. That's why most teams bring plenty of spares with them. The trucks may reach speeds of only 55 miles per hour, but that's a sustained 55 over the bumps, around the turns, and in the air sometimes traveling 70 feet from liftoff to land. Rod Millen, originally from New Zealand, now a California, is one of the top bananas in the SCCA's Pro Rally Series. How does that kind of racing compare to stadium shenanigans? Well, most of the rallies I do last four days. Most of the events that we do here only last four minutes, so, you know, there is a, there is a big difference. 
and it could be the most furious four minutes you've ever witnessed. Stadium Off-Road, forget the desert. Just sit back, sip on a soft drink, and let this crazed collection of rowdy renegades put on a show that just won't quit. And I do mean, just won't quit.